Nathan, yesterday, you lucky dog, you got to review the Focus ST, and today we're gonna do the second car in that mashup, the Nismo. There it is. Juke. Nissan Juke. And here comes Taking a page out of Nathan's book and doing a uh, rather messy handbrake turn. Andre, ah. thank you for bringing the vehicle. Do you have the keys? Dude, I did not know you were a uh, buffalo. Da, yeah, bison. Bison. Is that fat cow? That's bison. <laughs> Coming up next on the fast lane car, the brand new Nissan Juke Nismo. Style and the Nismo juke. It has no. It's the wheels look really good, and there's red accents, especially on the mirrors. <laughs> I think Nathan is being uh, very unNathan-like. You're being very subtle. Let's face it, Nathan. It looks like the bastard child of a frog and a rally car. Yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it looks are not its strong suit by any means. I'm not gonna slap its tush. To be fair, I think that the Nismo version of the Juke is by far the best looking Juke there is. Not only do you have these red accents, like here on the rear view mirror, over here on the steering wheel, but you've got this really cool body cladding. You've got a special bigger spoiler that doesn't have a hole in it, don't ask me why. And of course, best of all, you get a car that's lowered by a little bit and nine more horsepower. Folks, what you're looking at is a 197 horsepower four-cylinder engine that puts out 184 pound-feet of torque, and it's direct injected, it's turbocharged, it's a 1.6 liter, and it's hooked up to a CVT transmission to all four wheels. Ugh. Yes, it's a Nissan, so yes, it has a CVT. It doesn't have paddle shifters, which would be nice, but the interior is modern. It's got that motorcycle theme, which keeps it fresh and young. And best of all, there's a little switch here that lets you switch from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. So me and Nathan, I think, are gonna find out zero to 60, which is faster in front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Okay, Kyle, you ready, buddy? Let's do this. Sounds like a hamster on a wheel on crack. Should we burn out, Nathan? All right. Good luck with the CBT. There you go. Woo, that's the burnout. Ooh. Wait, 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 allow, allow me. <laughs> ah, we burned out. <laughs> All wheel drive with the CBT, it's not gonna burn out. You know, there's a lot to like about this car. They have lowered it. It does handle the corners very well for basically what is a raised W, RC car, right? I mean, that's what this is. Yeah, okay. Kind of sort of new age crossover yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't do badly, you know? I mean, it, it, it does hold the road. I was lucky enough to drive this on the track and uh, I was amazed at how well it did on the track in terms of its handling prowess. I wasn't so amazed by the amount of horsepower. It's just not enough. No, it's not enough. And you know, I've driven this car. I can tell you the one that I would get, and that would be the front wheel drive one with the manual transmission because you suddenly have a turbocharged 1.6 liter engine, right? Yeah. That's relatively inexpensive. All right, here's the dealio with the Jukio. Basically, there's not a lot of utility. Think of it as a two plus two. Why am I wrong, Nathan? How do you fit? Not so well. But you know, the thing is, is that the floor actually has a lot of space. The problem is the taper in the rear. It's just too low. How much is this car? That's the burn. $27,710 as tested, and that is just too much. Yeah, but you do get all wheel drive. You get this funky control, which lets you see how much torque the engine's putting out, you can see what the turbo is doing. I mean, there's a lot of cool kind of new age. Yeah, 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 yeah. Down there where your eyes are off the road. You want to see how much torque you have? Look down here. Oh, wait, you want to see where the boost is? Look down here. I'm sorry, but that's another issue. They've never fixed this from the beginning. And here's another thing. Would you rather have this or a WRX? Ugh. Oh, don't even act like you're deciding. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. I'd rather have a WRX. A WRX, you could just, it's, it's like the bullshit. You could go right there all day long, and it's just the best. But this car, it's really good. I got to admit, it's, it drives nice. It's fast. It handles great. But in the end, it's still a Nissan Juke. Zero to 60 in the Nismo Juke. I give this car a lot of, I poke it a lot, I prod it. I say bad things about it, but I really don't mean it. Let me shut the AC off here. And I have it on two wheel drive, so I'm gonna do two wheel drive in this run, and then four wheel drive in the next run. I'm gonna leave traction control on because it really doesn't seem like it makes much of a difference. And I'm gonna rev it up to about uh, 3000 RPM and take off. Let's do it. Uh, maybe not. Let's try that again. Oh, it only lets me rev up to 2200 RPM, but we're off. Come on, come on. Ooh, that wasn't so good. 9.16. Hmm. Here, have a look. Can you see? 9.16. One six. I'm in all-wheel drive. It's going to start from around 600 RPM. Let's see what happens. I feathered into it. as fast. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Look at this. 9.98. On the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, Nathan, what do you give the Juke Nismo? Oh, just like the last Juke I drove, I'm going to give this one a lease it. It's a good car from the inside out. You know, I'm going to agree with you. I think if you're going to get a Juke, definitely get the Nismo because it looks almost butch almost and uh yeah at least it is a good rating for a car that i think is very good on the track now come back tomorrow when we do the third car in our mashup the golf r nathan people may be wondering how can you mash up a focus st with the nismo juke with a golf r it's very simple folks we're not smart enough to do anything else that's why we call it a mashup as always this is roman and nathan see you next time ciao